Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. This guy right here is Evil Mike. And if you saw my thumbnail, then you know what kind of video this is. But before we get into that, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell if you're so inclined. Um, it does help this channel. Feedback uh, helps this channel a lot. Um, but this is an AOK -okay from my dude, Freaky Louie. Um, I want to say it's a win slash AOK. -okay. I'm calling it an AOK -okay because technically, I didn't even win. I think somebody else won and they prized it to me. But okay, th this comes as a surprise. First off, he had asked me for my address, but I didn't know exactly when it was coming. It just kind of showed up, which is the best way to get a package, right? Um, but to be all out honest, I don't know what's in the box. Um, <laughs> um, I do hope that one thing is in this box. It's something that I've wanted the whole past year. I've hunted for it I, for some reason and it's not even a, a major key issue but there is a reason I want it because it is a key It's the first appearance of my dude spider Lewis you don't know spider Lewis well if it's in here we might find out well uh, first off I want to show that because I have received an AOK -okay from Louis before and this is by far one of my favorite skits from Louis but if you know freaky channels uh, you know his channel then, then you know what this is, and I love this. It was hand drawn by Louis himself. It came on the last uh, AOK, -okay and I cut that sucker out and saved it. Um, let me see. So I've already like pre opened it, but I haven't opened it. Opened it. Um, I like the surprise, you know, witnessing it together, even though sometimes I mess up and, uh, you know, but the, the reaction is still the same, you know, I'm like, ah, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, all right, so it is. It is a lot more than I thought. I thought it was just going to be the one book. Trying, oh dang it! He's got like left and up and down. What's in here? Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. Never mind. I don't even know what order to do this in. Okay, um, the first one because he's got him. Um, double backed and boarded but this is um i've never heard of this. this is top cow this is a symmetry i think that's how you pronounce it number one um matt hawkins and Raphael and cinco I, I love the uh cover though and matt hawkins i haven't read a lot of him outside of a couple things i don't think um the next one is a book that i've wanted to read this image comics this is chew and it's issue number 58 um, this came out during the time that I wasn't doing indies, so it, it, it but it, it has been one of the ones that I've definitely wanted to check out. Um, this is crazy. This, um, Valiant, this is, let me remove the, this is Harbinger, issue number 25. It's the anniversary collection, and I think this would be like the volume two of Harbinger. Um, I'm not a super huge fan of Harbinger, I do know it, but there is a member of Harbinger that I do like, and that's Faith. Um, she was the first plus size superhero, and I think that is really dope. Um, this one I don't know, but this one looks crazy cool. Um, this Aftershock Comics, this is Knock 'em Dead, number one. I've never heard of them, but I love that cover. Um, it's uh, Elliot Rao and... Matea Monaco. It almost looks like there's another one in here, but I'm probably tripping. Um, this is fantastic right here because I need uh, more of these. And there is a note with, at the very end, so we'll get into it. And it, it, it's, it looks like a huge note. Um, in my... What the hell? No, you didn't. Boy. Okay, so I've got Batman uh, 92, um, the Tinian run, and I, this is the start of, um, it's right after City of Bane leading into um, Fear State, and I can't remember the significance of this issue, I'm such a bad Batman fan, but on the back issue, I do know this one, and this is phenomenal, and I can't believe you gave me this. Um, this is Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen, issue number three. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the first appearance of Punchline. It was one of the, the huge books that I missed. 
Um, it, it was solely due to shipping issues. They were switching diamond and lunar and all that crap. Um, but this one got released after all the punchline stuff. And I am a huge punchline fan. I'm a huge Joker fan. Anybody associated with Joker. But I actually love what they've done with punchline. They've made her so much more than just... Um, Joker's girlfriend, but that is phenomenal. I don't know what print it is. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I can look at it. It says it's a third print, which is that's even cooler because I like them when they go down, and that means this was that popular that it got more than you know the first print. Man, Louis, you, you are crazy. Um, this is what I wanted. Okay, so this is Amazing Spider-Man 797. Let me move around. Um, but the importance is, uh, yeah, baby, I didn't even see that at first, but L Lewis signed it, um, Lewis Romero, and he's got, he, he's actually got the, uh, what do they call it, a watermark, no, Sid. Alright, I'll show you, I'll show you, this is top secret, top secret right here. So on the back, <laughs> Lewis had been trying to get his, like a bunch of his, his stuff, printed in the back of a but right there that's him in cosplay and then right there that's him in cosplay too um, but it actually has like an article from him let's see I think it's it should be yeah it's the one right above this picture right here it is Lewis's article um, I think that is fantastic. I've always wanted to do that my whole life. Even when I was a kid, I used to read other people's, you know, what they put in there. And I, I don't care. You know, I always wanted just to see my name at the back of a comic. So to me, that is phenomenal. It's almost like, you know, I mean, him actually being in a comic is, even though it's really not, he's not a comic book character or anything. And he's not a writer or an artist. But to me, it, it, it equals that. He's in a book. It's it's publicated, you know, it's it's there forever, you know, and that, that's fantastic. Um, okay, and since I, I kind of opened this up wrong, we'll get to the note. What the hell? It is a Spider-Man comic that he drew. That's fantastic. It says, woes and foes, bills due... And then it says issue number one, and it says free. But he's got like Doc Ock, he's got like some goblin bombs falling falling over here. He's got like some venom action going on. Um, damn, it's a whole like, I might have to actually review this. Um, I don't want to go over the whole thing right now. I'll show you a couple of the... Now, a lot of people don't know, but like I showed you before, Lewis can't draw. Like, he states that he can. That he can't, but he can. That he's a really good tracer. But Lewis can draw. I've seen him. I mean, all this is proof right here. All this is pencil, penciling. I've never seen, you know, a Doc Ock, you know, cover like that. Where are you copying that from? Um, this is fantastic. Okay. Uh, we'll get to the letter. It says, You're the proud owner of a free, free key Louis ash can of Spider-Man Woes and Foes, number one, circa 2007. Hmm. Mike, you are my comic book brother, and I appreciate your support and friendship. Enough said, Louis Romero, a.k.a. Free Key Louis. And it says four and five. So the, there's five other ones out there. That's pretty dope. Or four other ones, because I have one. Um... So with all that said, and if you made it to the end, this is where I get to do my spiel about Freaky Louie. I love Freaky Louie. He's one, hands down, he's one of the people that I don't just support. I I enjoy watching Freaky Louie. Like, eh, I mean, he was one of the first YouTubers that I came across that I thought was super big. I was introduced to him by Flix Kicks and Comics. But I mean, you're talking about all the friends that I do have now, friends and family um that i met while in freaky louis you know chat like sheena um that led me to Inja, that led me to i mean there there are so many people that i met in freaky's you know and, and people still to this day because new people tuning in um but you're talking about one of the most entertaining shows that i can actually show one of my non comic book people and they get a kick out of it 
um, hands down all the creativeness that he puts into it, the the work that he does, the information that he has about the keys that he shows, the the <laughs> my favorite thing is all his songs, the creativeness that he comes up. He's a like to me, he's a modern day weird owl. You know, I mean, he parodies songs and he does them in our comic book nerd fashion. You know, and and. A bunch of them, I, I catch myself singing all the time. His Captain Planet song is one of my favorites. I like the beginning of that song. I love it. Gets me all excited, <laughs> like especially when he starts doing the the shekels, uh, nickels, quarters, dimes. Um, man, Louis, this is fantastic. Um, you, you blew my mind with this right here. Um, and this, this, this is what I wanted right here. This, this is crazy. Now I'm a part of a, I don't remember what he calls it. The, the spider Luku, I think he calls it. But just, just having this in my possession and the fact that I actually looked for it and finally couldn't found it and they basically had to give it to me. It's like a pity. Like, um, no, but okay. So if you made it this far, Freaky Louie's stuff is all in the description. If you don't know who he is, I highly, highly suggest checking out any of his videos not anything you don't even have to check out his live stuff go back and look at any of his streams if you're not hooked by the first five minutes you're crazy that, that's all I gotta say um, hey th this is Louis uh, I keep calling him Louis uh, this was an A-OK -okay from Louis yeah, I'm kinda like uh, like Twitter page I got, I got um, starstruck here by these comics but this was a uh, Freaky, an A-OK, -A -okay, I can't even talk. This is an A-OK -okay from Freaky Louie. Um, please check him out. You know, like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff that we we should be doing anyways. Um, I, man, I, I can't say enough about this community. This is, I mean, I've been a part of some communities, but by far this is the most amazing community. I have found some of the most amazing friends, some of the most interesting people, some of the most like-minded individuals, and some of the most you know not like-minded you know some of the opposite in it but I love that too but hey this is what I got for you I do have some reviews coming I have some time to film um, check those out if you're interested I know the first one will probably be Kaya um, but who knows it could be spider-man friends or woes I don't know that's all I got for you guys um, Lewis uh, definitely hands down thank you so much um, and you know I hit you up on IG and tell you thank you in person but um that, that's my video. That's all I got. I'm going to let y'all go. Bye.